Okay, thank you. Here we go. Shitty and Roseanne, please. I'm playing the headmistress. Now, it's not the first time that I've played a teacher, but in Spirit Ed, which is the name of this lovely little film, little at the moment, but I hope to be very big soon, I'm the headmistress that has the task of bringing up guardian angels and training them to go down to earth and look after people who are bereft because either parents or loved ones have died. This little film we're doing now, it's a seed that's been sown now that possibly and hopefully will grow into a into something quite large and, and substantial and creatively mind-blowing. Joshua's parents have just passed away and so he's sort of a little bit sad and so he closes in on the world. He comes to realise there's more to the world and um, up in the clouds there's more and stuff. During this current climate, now more than ever, we need to know that there's someone out there watching over us. And if not watching over us, watching over our loved ones, particularly if we're not there. The thing I really liked about the story was the breadth of the story. You know, what the kids go through to overcome adversity and what they can achieve, you know, when they work together and with a bit of imagination and thinking outside the square. I'm really drawn to stories like that. Thank you. First edition. It's such a complete idea. Good versus evil and, um, you know, with wonderful characters. It works perfectly, you know, it works. It's not just an opportunity to play with big toys and, you know, cranes and things flying around and, and magnificent locations. It's a great little story. It's really moving. It's the characters and the narrative and the story that will, that people will be sparked. The light will sort of come on in people's minds and, and that's what will fire people if they, when they see it. It's like a fantasy adventure and each member of the family will get a little bit of excitement out of it. It's very full on. Young kids can enjoy it and adults can see a bit more into it the metaphors of the movie. You come and work on something like this and you think, ah, that's right, that's, that's why we're doing this. That's why we were drawn to this in the first place, this whole acting thing. And I just thought, what a cracking good story. I want to know what happens. I want to hear what happens at the end of the film. That journey of, of reaching something quite substantial, like the mind-blowing big budget film, this is where it all starts. And this is the kind of the springboard for it. And cut. Cut there.